Hello fans, welcome to another segment of Vicov TV. Please do wait to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done so. And please press the notification button to get new videos when they are released. Now to this segment of Vico TV, we are going to be discussing biography of a noteworthy person in Nigeria. Please press the notification button like we said earlier and do justice by subscribing to our YouTube channel. So we are going to be digging in into Dr. Infa Yokoa's biography. Under this segment, we are going to be discussing Dr. Infa's Dr. Infa's network, his place of birth, his political career, his background. We are also going to be discussing his corruption allegation and many more. So. Let's dig in into Dr. Ifeng Okowa's biography. Ifeng Shuku Ato Otto Okowa was born on the 8th July 1959. He is a Nigerian doctor and a politician who has served as a governor of Delta State since May 2015. A member of the People's Democratic Party is a party's vice presidential nominee in the 2022 presidential election, rolling alongside Atiku Abubakar. Born in Owo, Alori in 1961, Okowa graduated from the University of Bipadan in 1981. After schooling, he worked in Mainsi for several years before entry politics. Okowa first established himself in local politics before entry the state cabinet of Governor James Sibori in 1999. After leaving cabinet in 2006, Okoa made a, made a fifth primary bid for governor before returning to the state cabinet under his former opponent, Emmanuel Oduaga. By 2011, Okoa moved to national politics and successfully ran for the senator of Delta State Delta State North. After four years in the Senate, he returns to Delta and was elected governor by the wide margin in 2015, becoming the first ethnic Ika person to be the governor. Okowa was later re-elected by a similar margin in 2019. His pre-political career Okowa was born at Owo Ilori in a car local government of Delta State. He attended the famous Edo College, Benicity, in 1970 to 1976. He then went to the University of Ibadan, where he studied medicine and surgery, graduating in 1981 with an MBBS degree. After leaving the National Youth Service Corp, he was with the Benin State Hospital Management Board as a medical officer. He entered, the, he entered private practice as director of Victory Medical Center at Benke in 1986. His political career, Okoa became secretary to the Ika local government and then chairman of the Ika Northeast Local Government Council. He was Delta North coordinator of the Grassroots Democratic Movement, GDM. He joined the PDP in 1998 and assisted in Governor James Imbori campaign in 1998 to 1999. He served as a commissioner in Delta State Government for Agriculture and Natural Resources from the period of July 1999 to April 2011. He also served as commissioner for the Data states water resource development from April 2001 to May 2003. And he also served as Data States Commissioner of Earth September 2003 to October 2006. Okua resigned to contest in the 2007 Data States PDP governorship primaries but did not win the governorship of In June 2007, Ifeng was appointed secretary to the Delta State Government. Ifeng was elected Delta North, 
an editorial candidate in the January 2011 PDP primaries with now there are 42 votes. But the result was challenged by party leaders who favored Mariam Amaka Ali as candidate. He was re elected in a rerun where he scored 1,446 votes against 108 votes of Dr. Mariam Ali. In the April 2011 election of the Delta Northern Territorial State, he found 198,140 votes ahead of the runner of Prince Need Munu Nwaku of Democratic People's Party. Almost 67,985 votes. It was reported that there was still tension regarding the election in January 2013. If I finally cleansed the ticket of the gubernatorial election in 2015 under the PDP with 406 votes on December 8, 2014. He won the Delta State gubernatorial election in 2015 in April 2015 with 7,240 votes. He was inaugurated as governor on 29th May 2015 and have since then resumed activities. In March 9, 2019, governorship election, Okoa was member of the People's Democratic Party, got 9,250 votes to defeat his opponent, the All Progressive Congressman Des Grit Ebori, who garnered 215,000 votes. As a sitting governor of Delta State in 2022, he established University of Delta in his hometown, Agbo. He also set up University of Science and Technology in Ozoro and Dennis Osadebe University in Awa, Delta State. Dr. Infain Okowa has allegation of corruption. What are these allegations of corruption? In the privatization of the third state land. In Okowa first term, his administration announced the partial privatization of the state-owned data land boss company. At the end of the privatization process, 60% of data land was bought by God is Good Transport Development Company, GD, GTDC, for 160 million while forty percent remain under the ownership of the state government. Immediately, calls of fraud were raised as the owner of GTDC, Shidiri Ajeri, as supported Okowa's 2015 campaign and fellow bidder. The Data State Council of the Amalgamated Union of Public Corporation, Civil Service, Technical and Recreational Service Employees. Claimed that they had offered two billion for the same stick. The AUPCTROE and its organization, the Nigeria Labour Congress, claimed that the GTDC initially offered the consensual committee only 80 million naira, compared to their two billion naira. Yet GTDC was choosing, while they doubled their offer to 160 million paid in two parts. Where the AUPCT ROE was never called back by the committee. AUPCT ROE also claimed that GTDC never completed their second payment of 80 million naira. Okowak's commission attempted to defend the C by claiming that Delta Line was in debt. However, former Delta Line Accountant General David Akpamengi claimed that the company that the company had nearly finished its debt payment and at the time of the sale and financial records showed that the land was profitable according to AUPC CROE, who opposed the privatization. Reports also stated that Okowa appointed such as Commissioner of Finance and Chair of the Concession Committee, David Edegbe, actively supported GTDC throughout the process despite their low bid. Further experts claim that GTDC acquisition was in pass to get rid of competitors and reports used a drop in quality of data line service after the seize. Okowa's press secretary only said 
Ifenjika, defended the administration say as merit based on certain GTDC vast experience in transport sector. GTDC also defended the service by saying that Ajeri had no special relationship with Okowa and that the company was the most qualified bidder. 2019 Auditor General Report In December 2001, a two part investigation by the International Center for Investigation reporting found, found irregular explanation. Disregard for financial regulations and evidence of financial misappropriation in the Data State Auditor General's annual report for 2019. Several ministries, departments, and agencies along the State House of Assembly were implicated for irregularities in the investigation of the report. Some notable findings include Office of the Secretary to State Governors' inability to account for 278.5 billion naira in public funds, members of the Okowa administration illegally ignoring freedom of information request, State Board of Eternal Revenue question, questionably used 107.74 million in funds, and the extra budgetary explanation of the Minister of Earth and Agriculture along with inflated cost of as of assembly members' vehicles. Officials mainly ignore requests for comments or refer the matter to Auditor General Paul Agbenu, who stood by the pro that but states that he could not answer further questions without the approval of the Secretary to State Government. What are some awards and honors Dr. Ife Yokowa has received? He was honored as Man of the Year 2007 by the Independent Newspaper at Eco Hotel and Suits in Lagos. The awards were presented by Alaji Ismailis Issa Fatou. In 2017, he achieved the highest award of the University of Ibadan, Ibadan, Nigeria, as the Alumni of the Year 2016, where he successfully delivered a lecture titled God, good governance for wet creation and sustain, sustainable development. A 2017 edition of the University of Ibadan alumni lecture organized by the University of Ibadan. These are a few facts about Dr. Ifan Yokowa, the running mate of Dr. Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party. If you find this information useful, please do justice by pressing the notification button and also subscribing to our YouTube channel if you have not done so. Thank you very much for watching.